So this is how we get ready for a snooze in the afternoon. A snooze in the afternoon. She will come up and literally nibble on my ear and either wrap herself around in my head, in my arm, my shoulder, or she'll come up on top here and she'll sleep. She'll sleep up there. Hey, so we've done our bedroom, and my whole body is just tingling now. So I thought I'd take her a wee break for a while. I had three scrambled eggs for dinner. I did the dishes, so it looks like I've actually done something for the day, and. I really need to go to the shops because, like, I haven't been for about five days. But I just can't get up and go. So I might have to give the boy a list if he comes round. Um, I haven't seen him for a few days. Um, it was really weird. He was thinking about his nan the other day and he decided to shave off all of his hair. I can't remember whether I've told you this or not, but just in case I haven't, I thought it was really, it was really a big sacrifice that he'd made because he, he's kind of known as a pretty boy, you know, with his hair and his eyelashes and he's got the most gorgeous sparkling eyes. And he shaved it all off and he kind of looks at, uh, like a mean man now, especially when he's got his top off when he's going to the gym and that. He looks quite buff. Um, but I haven't seen him in a, in a few days, apart from last night when he came round. And I got shitty with him because he hasn't really been helping and I've been trying to do it myself. And uh, he's shitty with me because he reckons I'm just nagging at the minute. But I know that if you stop nagging and stop asking, that eventually they'll just go, oh, you know, you didn't ask me to do anything. So <laughs> I am lucky with the the people that I've kind of got around me at the minute. Uh, I kind of got a friend to help set up just a cheap computer for the living room so when I can get in there and it's too cold I'll put the fire on and go in there but at the moment um, my energy level Today has been about three hours and that is what took me to get up dressed and I had lots of ideas of what to do like go for a walk um, was one of them especially with Alia to, to go and see how well she was with walking but she gets a little bit boisterous when she's outside because she hasn't been trained yet um, and she did get told off at one point for running away but it's going to take time so I think I need to find a lead and um, a collar but most of them don't fit because she's so tiny so I think I might have to go and trade me and see if they have specialised ones for for her. Um, I don't really like the choker ones because pulling a little tiny neck like that is not very nice so I'll, I'll, I'll try a harness with her I think if I can grab hold of one. The smaller the dog seems to be though the more expensive everything <laughs> seems to be. Um, I... Hello. Hello, hello, are you time for sleep, are you? Are you going for your nana nap? Are you going for your nana nap? Hey. 
Oh, so I thought I'd finish the story of um, Eki. I was thinking of his nan, who is now. Um, she died. Uh, I can't even remember how long ago. It must be five or six years, maybe. And he he obviously takes some stuff really badly. And then his grandpa died. Not, not on my side, obviously, because I don't have family. Um, but on his his dad's side um, the grandpa died and they had gone up to the hospital and seen him kind of alive but not too good and then they went home and when he died they all went back to see him and I think that was one of the dumbest stupidest things that to do with the children side of it the adults were fine but the nurses hadn't wiped his drool up and all that sort of stuff so it's something which is obviously uh it, it he's gonna re Akia and Alicia is gonna remember for a long time so I think that was quite stupid to do and I, I think I'll remind everybody not to do that um when it comes to my time uh, I've thrown most of my clothes out now, it's got to the stage where I don't really need a lot of clothes and comfortable clothes is nice, I've got a few nice things um, there's a site which I'm going on which the kids have found and it's just the end of lines from China, it's quite cheap stuff but uh, now and again you'll get uh, some decent things come through for a small amount of money. And I tell him. I can hear a little heartbeat. It's like boop, 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 boop. I'm watching Crofts at the minute, 2017 Crofts. Uh, it's amazing. And I remember uh, my dogs. Uh, kind of running. Oh, my thumb's really hurting. It just doesn't want to move. I was trying to look for the thing to put on it, but I can't find it. Um, so Crofts is really, really good. Uh, this year was just outstanding. Um, I think one of the dogs had done the, um, is it called an assault course? Uh, activity course and they'd done it in something silly like 35 seconds in oh my goodness me uh, there's a soldier lady uh, at the beginning who I think it's an Alsatian with her and they do this routine of where they do sit-ups and the dog takes the blanket off her and then she pretends to die and the dog is doing um uh, mouth to mouth and resuscitating her <laughs> and it's absolutely fantastic you've got to go and have a look you can find it on YouTube just under Crafts of 2017 um, I hope everybody's having a good day it's actually quite cold here today um, it's gone to something like 10 degrees so going from a really hot day to a cold day um, affects me quite a bit. I'm really not looking forward to the winter. I don't have an awful lot of wood at the minute and I've got a couple of mates who are like you know come out and we'll get you some wood but I, I'm i not able to do that sort of stuff anymore. I go out and help with the machine splitter which I did for a long time. Um, and I was able to get someone to pick up the rings and once it was half a ring I was able to carry on doing it myself but I'm not able to do it anymore and I know other people must have had jobs that they've done even just around the house you know washing outside windows washing their car hoovering their car um, anything up to you know, getting showered and brushing their hair themselves or dyeing their hair. Uh, I'm sure the men have 
those sort of problems, but, you know, on, on the men's side of it, that we don't think of. Uh, I know there's a couple of people that I know that have, have grown extremely large and obese, and they're just unable to get showered um, properly, and they refuse to get help in the shower. And it is one of the hardest things to do, which is, is trust somebody to um, look after you properly, morally. But it's something that we all get to the stage of, I guess. I'm, I read a comment um, from a while ago, who was a lady who had come in and... Um, she'd subscribed and she was saying that because of my video that she had now given up smoking and even though I've only got like 25 subscribers um, I wouldn't even call them subscribers just people that I I now um, I'm humble enough to be able to talk to now and again and say hello for me to make a difference in one person's life is extremely beautiful to me, and I don't think I'll forget that. And by leaving a comment just makes me realise that this is worth it, making these videos are worth it even if you change one person's opinion about what they do and I am really grateful for the fact that people come in and leave comments and I really hope that she's doing okay uh, because I know stopping smoking is one of the hardest things to do especially when you're watching other people um, who have become ill through it as well and it's so dumb that you know that it's going to make you sick but in our day it was part of a social thing that you would grab a pint or grab a shot and have a cigarette with you. You don't think about the outcome even though you told the outcome. I guess it's like saying to a child don't go too high on the swing because you'll fall off. But they want to do it. They have to learn by themselves. I hope everybody is not only keeping warm uh, but also keeping in touch with all their family and I know that everyone loses friends over being sick but I do hope that you have somebody in your life who is who accepts you for being just you and I know there's evil people around who uh, control the situation but you really do have to just let them go do not rely if you can on anybody else to talk to sometimes you get more out of talking to the people on YouTube or, or the people that you know are in your vlogs than you do from people who knock on your door uh anywhere from, you know, the Mormons, um, that's not disrespectful to them, it's just I, dis I disagree with it. They had come to my door quite often and wanted 10% of my disability pay and they asked what I needed and when I told them what I needed, which was food and um, to help me uh, not go bankrupt, they decided not to help me and they abandoned me 
and I got a text from them the other day, just uh, the new girls that are living uh, across from me um, were saying, you know, oh, we've heard that, the nice stories about you, we thought we'd come over, blah, 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 and I literally said to them, it's really nice that you're thinking of me, but to me, having gold churches and asking for part of your money, um, to me, our Lord didn't ask, you know, to knock on doors and get people to change their mind about their own um, relationships with their own God. They shouldn't need to do that. And I said, I thought greed was one of the sins, but yet you're asking people to change their mind and to come over to you. So you want more people. You say to me, you want more people in your church. Well, that to me is, is gluttonous. It's greed. And I, I, I guess I'm wrong in a, a certain way because that's my mindset. But it's just one of those things that... um. I really got quite angry when they walked away from me when I really needed them. So, at that point I'll kind of leave you alone. I did say I'd try and vlog when I wasn't too well, as well as the days that I am well. Um, so, let, let me know. Do you agree with people knocking on the doors and asking you to change your opinion? on God. Do you believe in God now we've found different planets? Um, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> That's a daft one, isn't it? Anyway, bad palm number one still here. Not upright today, but still here. Okay guys, I love you all. I'll talk to you real soon.